Amen, amen. Amen, amen. So, open your Bible in 2 Corinthians 9:11. 2 Corinthians 9. Fungula video yako mwa Korinto wa pili, kenda 11. Kenda 11. Wa Korinto wa pili, tisa. Yeah. Yeah, wa Korinto wa pili, tisa 11. Tisa yake 11. Hapana sita, tisa, kenda manaki. Hapana mm. kuroniko, pasta. Second Corinthians. The second Corinthians, 9-11. Mm. While, you are in, while you are in rich, mm. in everything for all liberty, mm. which causes thanksgiving, mm. Amen. Am- mm. God. Yes. <laughs> Our God is. Our God is so powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. Biblia nasema pesa kusoma mukiswahili. Biblia nasema hivi. Eti kumi na moja kena sema hivi. Eti au na korintwa pili sura kena mzaro wa kumi na moja nasema. Eti mutakuwa tajiri katika vitu vyote. Mupate kuwa na ukarimu wote unao shukuru unao shukuru Mungu kwa kazi yetu amena haleluya yo biblia iko wazi na tuambia Mungu atatuletea atatushushia mvua ya mbinguni tutakuwa tajiri katika kitu katika kila kitu the bible tells us that god will release divine heavenly riches mm. to us Yes, kwa nani? Kwa wale wanaomtumainia. To those who uh, serve him. Especially maku wewe ambao unanisikia sasa hivi ambao Mungu amechagua kwa mchana wa leo jina la Bwana libarikiwe. For those who uh, Mama Ivete kuna sauti iko natoka kwenye huko. Uchungaje? Uh, no no, hakuna shida pastor, tuendelee tu. Ame ame mute yeye mwenyewe. Mimi nitastia wao tu hakuna shida. Nitabashtia mimi mwenyewe. Okay. Bo, Biblia nasema ya kwamba sisi ambao tunaye mtumainia Mungu, anasema ya kwamba Mungu atamwanga mvua yake ya baraka kwetu. Na hapo unaposoma huu mstari unakupatia ile tunaita mabubujiko ya kiroho nikusema hakuna mtu anayemtumainia Mungu aliye maskini ila haijawahi kuwa mbele ya Mungu hakuna mtumainiaye Mungu aliye maskini when you analyze this very well you will find out that there is nobody who serves God who is going who is poor hakuna nobody sababu baraka zetu sisi tunao mtumainia Mungu sio wa kuone tu natembelea ndege hapana lakini ile amani ya roho kujua kwamba anayeweza yote katika yeye ni bwana wa amani anayenipatia hata pum, hata kuishi kwa kupumua kwa ni yeye anayeruhusu haleluya kuna wale waliona pesa wana pumuzi wameziacha wamezikwa na wameenda wameenda kuzimuni huko wameenda jehenama walikuwa na pesa yani uzima utajiri wetu wa kwanza ni ile uzima uhai ambaye Mungu ametupa Mungu ametupatia jana bwana libarikiwe yeah having to, to, to the richness that we are talking of is not having a plane or not having the estate not having whatsoever but even having life to live today it's by god's grace that's the one of the richest thing that one should be grateful of because in those who have money they have not been able to live to see the beautiful day some of them they have departed so paulo iko na to emphasize hapa mwa korinto wa pili sura kenda mstari wa 11 ya kwamba Tunapopata ile uhai maana ile uhai ndio mtu anasabia sio mwili ambao utazikwa eti inatusaidia kuwafikia wengine ili tuwa impact tuwaambie ile habari ya uzima tukue gen tukue genere Ale, that we become generous tukue wenye ukarimu wa karimu tukue wenye kuwapatia wengine moyo tukue watu wenye kuwaweka wengi kuambia wengine mahali tunaenda kitu tuliokutanana nacho ile uhai tu impact 
tuitie ndani ya wengine. Alafu sababu ya hiyo Paulo anatuambia pa ya kwamba inatufanya kuwa watu wa shukurani mbele za Mungu. Sababu hata kuwalala na kulamuka kwetu ni kwa mapenzi ya Mungu. It is not for granted. Sio sababu ya kawaida ya mwanadamu, lakini sisi tunayemwaminia ni sababu yake ye mwenyewe Mungu ndio kwa maana tunalala na tulalamuka. Sema amen. Yes, because of this grace that we have in the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, it, it gives us the ability to impact on others, to preach to others, preach to others, that we are alive, that we are able to move, that we are able to eat. All this is something that we have to give the thanks to the Lord for what he has done for us. Sasa, njoko mana Timoteo, Biblia inatuambia hapa Timotheo 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 kwanza sura hii mstari wa 4 mpaka 5 ya kwamba ni sababu ile uhai tunarudisha shukurani kwa Mungu sababu ule ule Mungu ndio mwenyewe ameumba kila kitu kama hapakuwa Mungu hatukukuwa na ile uhai tulio nayo ameumba umba kila kitu na kila kitu chochote kionekanacho kimeumbwa kwa neema yake kwa kusudi lake ndio sababu ya kumupa shukurani kwa kila jambo haleluya timotheo wa kwanza sura ya 4 mstari wa 4 mpaka 5 mm. that why he told us in the book of first timothy uh, chapter 4 4 to 5 he says that for everything god created his good and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving because it is consecrated by the word of, the, of God and prayer. Yes. Alafu, wakati unaenda hapo, una, unausikia, Paulo anatuambia we ambao unakosa shukurani mbele za mungu. Anakuambia, wakati ingino na zaifuko nasema, kwa nini mime mungu anakubali, naenda katika makosa, nafanya zambi, kwa nini mungu anakubali, mimi watoto wangu anakufa, watoto wangu anarika vichwa, kwa nini anakubali shida, kwa nini anakubali mumi anitesa, au muki anitesa. Kwa nini anakubali hii hali shanane na hivi? Anakuambia ya kwamba, Timoteo wa kwanza, sura yake ya tano, mustari wa kumina, samba kumina nane ya kwamba, kila kiote kinakio fika kwa upande wako, anakijua yeye, na ni yeye anakisababisha kwa, kwa kusudi lake yeye mwenyewe mungu alie hai. Haleloya! Joka mana anakuambia hapa ya kwamba, umushukuru tu katika njia zote na kwa vyote vile haijalishi kile unacho kipitia mwambie bwana asante wakati unamwambia asante anashuka na kufanya ile ambayo wewe hauwezi fanya kama mwanadamu jana la bwana libarikiwe and that's why Paul tells us that let us do this in every circumstances in whatever happens to us in good and bad in the book of first Thessalonians 5 16 to 18 he said we should rejoice in everything and prayerful and give thanks in all Njoo kwa maana Biblia inatuambia pia wa Filipi sura ya mstari wa sita mpaka saba. ya kwamba tusiwe watu wenye macho kwa vitu ya ulimwengu tusibabaike kwa kila chochote kile tusibabaike lakini katika hali yoyote wa Filipi sura ya mstari wa sita mpaka saba. eti katika circumstance yoyote tumshukuru Mungu ha sina la Bwana libarikiwe hi and also in the book of Philippi chapter 4 6 to to seven, it says, Do not be anxious about anything. Mm. Everything. Ah, nifate pas, nifate, nifate, nifate kidogo kidogo. Unarudilia tu hapo kwenye nilirudilia. Sababu tuweze, ku, tuweze kutia hamna. Hallelujah, jena la wana libarikiwe. Yes. Amen. Sasa, anasema, anasema, wa Filipi, Paolo anatuambia katika barua yake kwa wa Filipi, kwako, barua anakuandikia we mwenye unatufuatu. Eti, lakini katika kila kitu, kila shukurani yoto unaleta, unaleta mbele ya mungu, uisimdikize kwa maombi, uisimdikize pia kwa itaji. Juhu wakati unamushukuru mungu kwa hili aliyafanya, yani unapresente, unamuambia pila, pia na hili ambao unataka afanya kwako. Juhu kwa mana inakuambia siku ya leo ni siku yako, so siku ya kawaida. Hili unataka mungu wakufanyia wiki hii, mwezi huu, mwaka huu, leo ulete mbele ya mungu, anasema, yeye ni muaminifu, anajibu, anafanya mambo ambayo mwanadama hawezi fanya kwa kwa haleloya mm. yeah. so Paul is trying to also continue the book of Philippians 4, 6, 7 he said that don't be anxious in everything but in every situation by prayer, petition it bring mm. it to God in prayer bring it to him and say God this is what I'm feeling and with thanksgiving present it to him in the request asking him that God I want peace, I want joy I want this understanding, I want breakthrough and God will 
wale wa Filipine sita yake mpaka saba mustari wake wa mwisho ule unasema ya kwamba eti na yeye Mungu mwenye anajua roho yako yeye Mungu ambaye ame, anapana amani ya kweli wakati haubabaike na chochote wenzetu wamepata wenzetu wameoa wenzetu wameolewa haubabaike na haya mambo ya ulimwengu ambayo yanakuima amani ndani ya nyumba yako hauna muda na Mungu hauna namna shukrani mbele ya Mungu uko naangalia Mungu amefanyia wengine mimi hajanifanyia anasema hivi anapoona kwamba unamfuata katika maombi unatulia wewe haubabaike na mambo ya ulimwengu au mambo ya watu wengine unatoa shukrani zako mbele yake unakuja na hitaji yako na petition yako ile ambayo unahitaji specific mambo Mungu akufanyie anasema anakupa anakuriwadi na amani ya roho amen amen akisha kuriwadi na amani ya roho anakupatia mshimamo katika imani tena bwana ibarikiwe akisha maliza pale anasema kwamba akili zako anazituliza kabisa hakuna mpepeo ambayo atakupeleka haleluya maana Mungu wako yeye ule ule Mungu wako atapigana vita vyako sema amen He said, and everything when you put ready to, to him, he understands and he will guide you and will lead your hearts and grant you according to your desires. So in whatever we go through, whatever situation, whatever circumstances, remember that our God is not a God who is sleeping or slumbering. He is able to hear and he is able to answer and able to guide you and lead you in what you are you, you, you pray for. Amen. Amen, amen. Celebrate Jesus. Njoo kwa maana wapendwa Biblia inatuambia tusiende machoni mwa Bwana mikono mitupu eti mtu yote asiseme Mungu hajamfanyia chochote hana la shukurani na wakati tunashukuru Mungu tusishukuru kwa bure njoo kwa maana tunapana shukurani zetu sadaka zetu za shukurani kanisani maana wakati tunamshukuru kwa ile machache kwa aina ya machache ambayo ametufanyia hata kwa matoleo yetu ya corona mo, ya corona ya ko, sio corona <laughs> ya kuro, ya corona moja kwa yale ambao Bwana ametupatia jina la Bwana libarikiwe anasema ya kwamba furaha yetu anairudisha kwetu baraka zetu ile mahitaji tuliyo tuliyo mupa yeye mwenyewe anaingia na kuifanya kwa namna usiyojua wakati haubabaike Wakati wengine wako wanasema wao unakosa Mungu kwa nafungula milango ingine ambayo wewe haujue madirisha za mbinguni kwa namna usiyozijua sababu tu ya shukurani yako ya sadaka mbele ya Mungu jina la Bwana libarikiwe That's why he tells us that when we come in the presence of the Lord we should come with thanksgiving uh, to appreciate what all that there was to pray for God so you give thanksgiving that's what we intend to have giving a thanks to god by giving thanks to god you you ask you, you you draw him brother to you to do that uh, man cannot do to open doors that you cannot open by yourself to to lead to to where things are hard he is able to because you have entered his gates with thanksgiving na hii thanksgiving ambayo tunasema wakati tunaingia katika thanksgiving yetu tunasema anasema umshukuru um, kwa akili yako yote kwa moyo wako wote na kwa nguvu zako zote And he says that we should thank him with all our mind with all our soul with all our spirit. Sasa Sasa nilisema njo kwa maana tunatoa sadaka wakati wa wakati wa shukrani. And that's why we give thanks. Sadaka tunatoa sadaka we give offerings. That's why we give offerings uh, of thanksgiving into uh, when we are thanking God. So Biblia inasema tusingie mbele ya Bwana mikono mitupu. For the Bible tells us we should not enter in the presence of God with empty hearts. Hiyo njoo kumshukuru na nguvu zetu. Nguvu zetu ni yale tuliyoyatumikia. Ndio nguvu zetu ile matoleo. Mungu alitufanyia jambo, tunaleta matoleo juu ya ile jambo Mungu atufanyia. Sio lazima ikuwe muziko muziko wapata hivi wa pesa. Ah. Sio Mungu wa vile alikubariki vile utaleta matoleo yako mbele ya Mungu. Usisahau usi, usi na moja ya kumi sababu hiyo ni deni yake. And that's why when we say thanksgiving coming we thank offering is to come with it it should you not feel that I come a big basket of paper whatever that God has brought your heart to come with as an appreciation to thank him God for what he has done for you that's what we call a thanks offering and it does not stop you from giving your thanks 
And we end up with this is just to say, God, everything belongs to God. God was still best for him. And whatever I just giving him that little thanks offering is not anything to him because already it belongs to him. Hallelujah! Amen. Sasa, yawezekana we mwenye uko na niona sahi mahali ambapo upo. Labda ulikuwa umeshindwa na kukamata hii uamuzi, hii sheria ya Biblia ambayo unatoka kuona hapa katika maandiko matakatifu. Ndio kwa maana hatuwezi endelea na ibada bila kwenda katika zamu ya msamaha. Mahali ambapo walipungukiwa, kama walipungukiwa, kama ule ma, kama wale kenda wote, Yesu aliwaponya watu kumi. Kenda ilipungukiwe kaende kalala haikurudi kumushukuru bwana. Yesu akauliza mmoja aliyekuja out of the ten, one only came. Na Yesu akauliza mmoja hapa kukuwa kumi ambayo mimi niliponyesha ni wewe mwenyewe tu. Au wengine wote weko wapi? Haleluya. Yawezekana na wao ume, umepungukiwa kama hao watu kenda wote waliopungukiwa. Yesu aliwaponya lakini wakasahau. Walikumbwa zao kwamba walilia. Walikosa msaada kwa watu. Walipokutana na Yesu akawaponya. Alipokuwa waponya wakabaki wakarudi wakapata pesa lakini kurudi na kurone moja kumshukuru Mungu. Kumwambia Yesu asante kwa yale wameyafanya. Hata kwa kusema asante kwa maneno yao ya kinywani. Kurudi mbele ya Mungu ukashindwa. Huenda na wewe unashindwa kwenda mbele ya Mungu juu ya hali moja au juu hali nyingine. Ukiwalaumu watu, ukimlaumu Mungu kwa nini mimi haujanipa hii kwa mimi sijafikia hii? Utashuka mbele za Mungu. Maana Bwana anapenda moyo wa shukurani. Umwambia Mungu mia kulpa. Mimi ni mwenye dhambi. Maana ni dhambi mbele ya Mungu kosa shukurani. Bwana tusaidie sana. Uh, could be you are one of those who has not uh, having gone through the, the chapters, the verses we have read and you may be one of those having the deficit into your life of not being of thanking God for what he has done for you. And uh, Jesus was able, we, we healed 10 people, and the nine of them never came back, and one came and was one. Well, what happened to the other people? You could be one of the nine who went back and forgot to come and thank God, to give him thanks, of, or, uh, to give him a thank by your mouth, thank by uh, an offering, thank with songs. But you forgot to do this, and that's why we need to go down on our knees and ask God for forgiveness that God should forgive me, if at all, in your life you have forgotten to give thanks offering to God, to thank him in, the, in the every form, to, to thank him for your life, to thank him for resources he has given unto you, to even to open your mouth, to thank him if you have not. Let us uh, look into ourselves. Hallelujah. Kwa hiyo, kwa hiyo wende ndani, kwa wende katika undani wa moyo wako, mwambi, wewe mwenye ujichunguze bila mwanadamu kukuguza, bila mwuto yote kukusukuma, we wangalie mbele za mungu mepungukia waki wa wapi, katika matoleo, katika moja akumi, katika hata neno la kuja mbele za mungu, katika kumutumikia mungu, wenda mungu wamekuita, lakini muda wako oto meupoteza mumamba ya ulimengu, hauna tena muda, hata muda wakuomba, wakuomba wakati wakulala hauna, Mwambie Mungu wewe ni mwenye dhambi. Alafu shuke maana siku ya leo Mungu anatafuta kukupeleka mahali. Anataka uanze upya sababu baraka zako ile mvua yake ya mbinguni ya baraka ni kwambia leo ni siku yako iweze kushuka katika maisha yako. Tena la Bwana libarikiwe. So it's time to go down on your knees and ask where you have really gone down into your life. Whether to thank God for what he has done for you by your mouth by giving thanks to God for an offering of thanksgiving, or what you have done that you find in your life that you are not even having a bit open your mouth to thank Him. It's time to go on your knees and say, I am a sinner, I'm a sinner, forgive me, but I didn't recognize this. Moja so, mbili tatu. Twende, twende katika maombi. Fungu la kinyo chako twende katika maombi. Baba katika weza wa jina la Yesu. Tuna libari kijina la koma na weni mungu. Asante mwamba amari mungu wa wezo na utukufu. Asante jemedari wa vita. Weni mungu siye shindwa. Weni mutakatifu wa watakatifu. Weni mungu wa wezo. Weni mungu wa utukufu. Tunashuka ni mwenye o inuke. Utusaidie wana. Utupiganye yesu. Weni mungu jwe yote. Jemedari wa vita. 
Bwana sisi ni wenye dhambi na wewe ni Mungu mtakatifu. Mara kwa mara tunataka kufanya mema. Mabaya na tutangulia Yesu, lakini neema yako baba yatosha. Neema yako Mungu yatosha. Neema yako mtakatifu yatosha. Tunahitaji Bwana tutetee. Tunahitaji msamao wako. Tunahitaji neema yako. Tunahitaji neema yako Yesu. Tutetee mwamba wa karibu. Tutetee mfano wa falme. Tutetee mwamba uwezo. Tutetee mwamba utukufu. Tutetee jemedari mema. Yesu tunahitaji msamao wako. Utusamee Bwana. Tusamee kwa masemi. Tusamee kwa matendo. Tusamee Bwana kwa mwenendo. Wewe ni Mungu Yesu. Oh baba asante mwamba amani. Asante mtakatifu mtakatifu. Asante Mungu rehema mwamba amani. Asante kwa rehema zako jua mama jua baba. Asante kwa rehema zako jua kanisa zote mzima. Baba neema yako yatosha. Baba wengi wamekufa kwa juma hii lakini unaendelea kutuchunga. Wengi ni wagonjwa lakini unaendelea kutupatia uzima. Mwamba wa rehema hakuna aliye kama na wewe. Mungu amani hakuna aliye kama na wewe. Mtakatifu watakatifu hakuna aliye kama na wewe. Jemedari wa vita kuna mwingine kama wewe. Wastahili Yesu tunakupa yote bwana tunakurudisha vyote mungu yesu sika na isimani zako o oh baba 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 yesu kristo yesu kristo yesu kristo mungu aweza na utukufu mwamba salama shemedari mwema baba ni nani kama wewe yesu 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 Kristo tunakushukuru Mungu mwenye nguvu tunakusande jemedari wa vita hala karaba bosh asante Mungu asante baba asante mtakatifu asante mwamba uwezo asante mwamba utukufu asante jemedari mwema Mungu mwenye nguvu zote mwenye uwezo na utukufu hala la 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 la, la. Raba baba baba bosh rekuri ya babosa katika weza wa shina la Yesu asante bwana wa amani haleluya amen 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 so tuna tunakwenda katika maombi alafu maombi ile maombi ile tunaenda ndani ni ya kuona msalaba wa Yesu Kristo Maana mara kwa mara tunapiganishwa kama vile wacha Mungu. Alo. Alo. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. You can hear me now? Yes. Yes. Nilikuwa nasema hivi. Pastor, can you hear me? Yes, I hear. Yeah, fine. Yes. Nilikuwa nasema hivi. Wakati mingi sisi kama vile watumishi wa Mungu kama vile wa Kristo tunapiganishwa kwa hali ya kiroho. Mambo yengine yanafika, unaanza kujiuliza ni nini? Mbona mimi nilikuwa nashimama? Mbona mimi nilikuwa ka ninakuwa mujasiri mbele za Mungu kwa habari ya shukurani walikuwa waniuliza zake? Unakuwa najiuliza sahi kwenye huko ulikuwa na bidii mbele za Mungu na juhuli zake bidishaendeka na muna kani. Unajua sisi kama vile wa Kristo tunatembea katika vita mingi vya kiroho vile kujua. Na moja yapo ni kusahau nguvu ambazo Bwana ametupatia. Lakini leo Mungu ametumamesema ya kwamba tushimame kwa dhamu yetu ili tuweze kunyanganya shetani haki yetu. Na ndio maombi tunaenda mo kwa sasa. Haleluya. And it's now our time to take authority, to take to, exchange, to change power from the devil that he had stolen from you. Your power that you used to have, the thoughts you used to have, the ability you used to thank God, the ability you used to have the 
the desire to cite God wherever he was to worship him and exalt him. It's now time that you we go into which is the prayer now we're going to pray for, for God to empower us. So in this regard, maybe katika haya, labda we ulikuwa muombaji, kutoka ulitoka Afrika, umefika ulaya. Lakini ile habari ya kimaumbi ile ya kiroho imepoteaga ndani yako. Mupendwa unajiulizaka wewe biliendekaka aje. Wengine wanasema ni hali ya ni hali ya huko Ulaya, sio hali ya Ulaya. Maana sisi wote tuko Ulaya, lakini sisi ni waombaji pia. Tena Bwana alibarikiwe. Mnaona America, America mnaona vile watu wako wanalala ndani ya maombi. Tunajua wengi Denmark ambao wana wako na hela kuwazidia nyinyi. Lakini wanalala ndani ya maombi. Haleluya. Amen amen eh? Lakini utaangalia hata na we hauna muda na Mungu lakini hauna na chochote kile ambacho unaweza kusema hii ndio mali nimepata muda wote ambao siendake mbele za Mungu. Hapana hawezi ukaupata sababu umeacha njia za Mungu. Kwa maseme mengine sio wewe unapiganishwa kiroho. Na hii vita unapiganishwa nayo kiroho ndio tunaenda kudili nayo sasa hii. Yes. Uh, you could be one of those you may be wondering at this moment. Uh, you be you were one of the most spoken in the continent who was a great determined person to serve God, a thinker, a Anna Asha, a person, a Christian who was devoted to serve God with all your heart. But mm. when you reach up here, you, you are back, you turn against God with so many excuses. I this because of this, because of my husband, my wife, because of work and this. And you turn away and you wonder what happened. Mm. But it's to you, it's the devil that is working into you, that is going to break the broke people and blessings. Mm. Look, people who are rich in Denmark, they are more than you, but they are praying 24-7. Yes. Yes. Mm. In America, there are those who are fasting 24-7 trying to see that we are in the presence of the Lord. But you, even, who is just seated, what do you have? You don't even have what they have. Mm. You look at them, you are aside to see the face of God. Then... But it's not you, it's the devil that is working behind you. Sasa, pastor, wacha mimi nipate mpane mfano wangu mimi mwenyewe. Sabu, we are, li- we, are, we, are, we are living examples. Wata yeah. niambia kwamba hauna muda na mungu. Uko na nini uko wapi? Nda kuuliza uko na nini uko, uko wapi? Mimi na lala maombi ya subuhi mpaka, yani mande hadi tu, hadi, hadi, de, mande mpaka, mpaka lode. Lakini... Mimi nikikwambia neema ya Mungu yenyeko ndani ya maisha yangu utashangala. Nikitembea na tembelea gari nzuri. Nikilala na ralia nyumba yangu sipangi. Niki nikiangalia na angalia watoto wangu naona hatu hatu yani najiuliza wewe mwenyewe hauna muda na Mungu na niambiwa umepoteza yani wewe hauna muda na Mungu sababu uko busy. Ile busy yako unapata nini? Uko wapi? Yaani tafuta uso wa Mungu mpendwa sababu tunapaswa kuahubiri yale ambayo sisi tunaishi si ndio? Kwa hiyo wapendwa lazima tupate muda na Mungu. Biblia nasema tafuteni kwanza ufalme wa Mungu na mengine yale ambayo tunayohitaji yeye anajua tunayahitaji atayaleta kwa muda wake yeye. Tunapompa kwanza ile nafasi yake ya kwanza. Sema amen. Amen. The Bible tells us to seek first the kingdom of God and the rest shall be added unto you at his appointed time. Mm. And imagine I give you as an example, first I'll give you an example. Look at him, he says. Uh, for him, he is praying for heaven. He's in the prayers. In the week, every week, he's in prayers, prayers. And you have to compare yourself and him. Na mi niko natumika. Niko na wasumu ya 37 hours a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 37 hours a week. Mm. He's working or he's reading for that seven hours in the week. He has time at least to also to be in the presence of God. He's living in his own house. He's not renting. He's living in his own house. He looked around. Yes, I have a patient. I have my children are doing better in class. They are not sick. They are not in bed. Have, think of 